Hi, I'm Katie and I am the face behind Greg's Chicks Backyard Farm, where I bring you funny and informational videos about chickens, goats, baking, gardening, and all of the shenanigans that go on on our farm. This is part one in um, my next series of videos where I'm going to really be focusing on our backyard garden expansion. I have been container gardening and greenhouse gardening and small space gardening with an arch that I added this year. Um, but this next transformation of the garden space is um, really going to take into consideration keeping my own animals out as well as raccoons and coyotes and deer and birds and mice and all of the things that come with a rural setting or just backyard farming. And one of the things that I really am going to focus on in this series is utilizing and um, capturing small space and turning it into something a lot more functional. I'm very excited to bring you along on this journey and thanks for being here. So this is one of the areas that I grew in last summer, spring and summer, and I had it fenced off so the chickens and goats couldn't go in there, but I needed to clean it out so that way it could serve its new purpose now that I'm expanding the garden to the other side of the yard. Next, I started working on cleaning out the greenhouse. I kept all of my tomatoes in there all growing season, which had benefits and also disadvantages, but I'm not going to do that this season. I'm going to actually move them to the new garden space, but I will continue to do all of my seed starts and microgreens and some indoor growing year round in the greenhouse that needs the heat. Next, I started pulling down my arch, which we made with cattle panels. Worked great. Um, then my camera fell over. I had no idea. I carried on for quite some time before I realized that it happened. Uh, but here we are, I realized it fell over. I was taking down the lights, I had some solar lights. Um, we had this fenced as well for the chicken and goat issue. It worked really well on keeping them out. And when we do the expansion, we will also be fencing it, but in a slightly different way. We used two cattle panels, some cedar boards, and we made little raised boxes. It worked really well and it gave me um, the confidence to really move towards a new garden with more arches. Um, but the downside is that the boxes were just way too small and we realized that as we were building. Um, you see me struggle a, bit, a little bit with these T-posts. I know that there is a trick using the T-post driver. I could not figure it out. Uh, feel free to tell me a better way to get those out. But I did rust them out, got them all down and was able to successfully move those cattle panels. They will be used later. Um, they're such a versatile piece of farm, backyard farm, gardening equipment that they'll definitely get put to good use. So here we go, taking the panels, dragging them across the yard and moving on to the last little bit, which is taking the rest of those T-posts down, cleaning up the garden and moving out all of the dirt from the raised beds. cleaned up the T-posts, put those um, around the back of the shop, can definitely use T-posts in another project, and then made sure everything was cleaned up, raked out, and this side of the yard was pretty much finished. Um, I did go back through, reorganized the shelving in the greenhouse to get it ready for my starts and microgreens, and an overall reset for the next season. I finished it off by dragging my Vigo garden bed to the other side of the yard, which is where the new garden will be. More on that on the next part. I then went back to my enclosed area and put in my compost tumbler, tomato cages, um, extra potting soil, other things that I just need that are too big to keep in the greenhouse but um, need to be in a space that's contained. And then for fun, I decided to plant some garlic in the shallow raised bed that was still inside of that enclosed area. I haven't planted garlic before, so we'll see how this goes, but um, I thought it was a great way to use that bed and the bulbs needed to go in in the fall, so it was a great time to just get it done. You can see I'm just using my hand as a spacing guide. It was a really simple process. And that's it. Subscribe and follow along for more.